Thursday is Thursday, March the 7th of 2024, and we're here for the weekly crypto review once a week. And of course, we wouldn't have a review without Moo. How's it going? Going great, man. Uh, so exciting. Um, it's been great. You know, we're over at the Psychic Nerds, we've been, you know, kind of getting together, uh, you know, having lots of fun up on the Discord and, you know, having some different live streams that we don't normally do. And especially on Tuesday when we hit our all-time high, we only hit it or broke through it for for a few few minutes. But uh, anyway, it's still fun. It's still fun to kind of have an excuse to get together and, and laugh and uh, share ideas and uh, talk about strategies and, you know, just kind of be together and enjoy this. You know, crypto's been rough for a lot of people, I think, um, for a couple of years. So it's it's nice to see people excited and things like this. So um, it's just been great. Market's, market's cooking. Uh, the big boys are here. They're bringing their big boy money. And um, it's it's just that time of year, crazy busy, right? So, or that time yeah. in the cycle, I guess, just crazy busy. Yeah, it's really just a matter of time. We knew it was just a matter of time yeah. and it's always, okay, well, what's going to be the next, what's going to be the next leg up? And of course we know 3 trillion, there'll be a big party for that one. Um, I thought it would run to 2.7 that once we got around the corner that we would start running for 2.7 trillion because a lot of people are like, when's our next pullback? And I was like, well, if I had to be a guessing gal, I'd say 2.7 because, you know, people are there with their bags. Um, not everybody was able to dollar cost average all their money into the market. Unfortunately, a few people you know, just got their uh, lump sums of money recently. And they're just like, Sam, you know, do, should we put it now? And you know about FOMO, right? Like don't FOMO. Yeah, don't FOMO. <laughs> no, don't FOMO. But the trick is to find like where where that's at. Because when you see a market go like 200 billion in, in just a few days, I mean, that's blowing your mind. You're like, oh, I, you got FOMO. You're like, oh, it's going to 3 trillion now. I better get it now. But you know what? The, the market, it, it, the, the pullback is always there. It, it wasn't long, right? It's running back again. I'm pretty excited about that. We'll see that. And the question is, okay, what's the next stop? Is it going to be 3 trillion? And I, I, I don't think we're going to get another big pullback before. Uh, and I mean, it didn't, I, I mean, you can even count it as a, you can count it as a pullback because you got your Solana cheaper, right? <laughs> So you had people that were afraid because of that little dip we had for a few hours? No, or, no, no. Oh. They weren't afraid. They were like, oh. are we running into three trillion all the way? Or can, you know, should we put it now or later? And I mean, that's a decision people have to make on their own because we are just a hobby channel. Sure. But again, I am a psychic medium. I will throw it out there and nailed the 2.7. So yeah. once we got there, that there would be a big pullback and then they would have an opportunity <clears> to get in at the cheaper price because that's always the challenge you have is that you know if it's going like this right you know is it going to go like that and then just a tiny bit down is it you know people don't really know and they get there's an excitement but then there's a lot of anxiety that that fear of missing out is still very strong i find and sure. no matter what i say like you only need three cryptos you know most you most of us have 40 so so, <laughs> so we definitely will have three of the big ones <laughs> well, hopefully people are, are well positioned, you know, have already been well positioned, you know, in certain things. We're seeing Solana run today, uh, Render really ran hard, Bitcoin Cash ran real hard the other day. Um, you know, hopefully people are already positioned in good stuff. Uh, AVAX looks very solid. ETH uh, looks like it wants four grand um, with a vengeance. You know, so, I mean, if, you know, hopefully people are already, you know, positioned and in, in a good spot and, you um, you know, they can just take the hands off the wheel, right? They can just hold or hold onto the rocket and just, uh, you know, let it ride. Um, so, so I hope people are enjoying this market. I, I, I see a, a market cap of 2.47 right now. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, that's, that's wonderful. Uh, why don't I go ahead and show that? Maybe we'll just kind of take a look and level set and kind of, uh, get on the same page here with some numbers and, and timings. If you guys got a, um, before we hit the questions, but if you do have a question, you can put it over on the right-hand side and then we'll go over to Sam's Discord also and uh, take a look and see what we got up there. So just let me know if you can see my screen. I have trading view up, Sam, can you see it? Oh, yes. Okay, um, yeah, so um, here's where we were in 2021 and I think it was like 3.1 trillion, at least uh, according to trading view. Um, and then here's where we're at now at this uh, 2.46. So. Um, just amazing. Let me kind of zoom in here. Um, was this that Tuesday? Yeah. Or, uh, yeah, this was Tuesday when we hit our all time high, um, in, uh, Bitcoin for a minute in the Bitcoins. And then it kind of dipped down to, I don't know, 2.1 or something. Um, but yeah, we're back at, uh, 2.46. A lot of things that I think a lot of people are holding or, or maybe are holding, uh, have already, you know, just brushed this off and are even way higher than they were. Um, so, you know, that's great. I'm just super excited. Um, very busy, very excited. 
Um, hope people are doing well. Hope people are getting their rest. Hope people are getting their sleep. Um, you know, and just kind of enjoying the market and not FOMOing. I think you're absolutely right. And staying away from all the scams, right? There's so many yeah. scam things out there. So um, keep Kevin and Kevin. Yeah. And my two favorites for this uh for this period or this week, a lot of folks were asking me, I was like, well, you know, if you miss Solana, and I don't really think you miss Solana. It's really just, you know, it's like back with Ethereum, you know, when Ethereum was four hundred dollars and folks were like, should we buy Ethereum at four hundred? Yeah, of course. You know, I felt it was going to four grand in, in no time. So why wouldn't you buy it when it's a 10 times? Or you? They were just upset because they didn't get it, you know, at like a hundred bucks, right? Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people got it, right? They were just, sure. they were dragging their feet and then they're kind of like, oh, I got it. Well, it's the same with Solana. A lot of folks are like, oh, did I miss Solana? And I'm like, well, you know, you kind of did. Yes. You should have DCA'd <laughs> it at eight, 12 bucks, 20 bucks, even yep. $30. Yep, Once it 40, started to get yep. into 40, you know, you're kind of like, oh, I don't know, right? Um, move on to something else. But the uh, my other two, like for this week, were Near and Phantom. I said, you know what Solana and Avalanche were? I said, uh, Near and Phantom are like their doppelgangers. So for this run, so that was because folks like they got these bags of money. They weren't they weren't in like back when we were. They didn't get a chance to DCA the crap out of some of the stuff that got beat up badly. Mm -hmm. You know when it was down, and they're just getting some money now. And they're like, okay, we know. Say, okay, Sam, we know to get Ethereum. Right, but they're but they they want to know, but they don't want a flyer. They're like, we don't want to wait two years. I'm like, well, okay, <laughs> let's see. After you, after you send me like twenty thousand dollars, we'll do a review of your. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so of course, there's no guarantees, but I just give people my best guess. And um, well, I think another, that's very good. Yeah, yeah, I think if think if you're getting a good feeling about something, Phantom had a wonderful presentation in ETH Denver, uh, uh, not last weekend, but the weekend before. Um, absolutely you know, kind of cool. Some of the stuff that they're doing, there's not really a whole lot to do on that side of town yet, but uh, I, you know, I'm sure Phantom's going to do well. Andre's back, right. Doing some things over there. Uh, what's the other one you mentioned near, 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 near. ripped the other day. Yeah. Um, I think it was yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, it was, I think it was yesterday. Uh, near did really, really well. I don't know where it's at now, but uh, let me kind of just go take a look. Um, yeah, I think that's great. I think that's great. Uh, some of yeah. these, you know, because the token supply is so low, I, I heard Pantera Capital is actually going to buy back. Uh, they 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 kind of want to buy um, all the Solana stuff at. Oh, there was a price. I'm going to guess at the price. I was told. Uh, yeah, I know the price, but I can't remember the price. I'm going to say 45, something like that. So, uh, Pantera Capital will be uh, you know handling a lot of the uh, Solana stuff um, moving forward. So anyway, if anybody's interested in that, but that's what I heard. So. Well, that's exciting. That's exciting news. And on uh, Monday when I was doing SamNet, it was at uh, 66,000 Bitcoin was. And I was doing my, uh, before I start, even though SamNet is for, you know, news items and, mm -hmm. you know, some of the, like non-crypto stuff. We have a special sure. show for that. Um, but I mean, my microphone wasn't working and I didn't know. And usually I check, you know, with, I have you here to tell me if it's five by five or not, but I didn't check because I was working it on my sure. own. Sure. So I'm blabbing away and they see me like scrolling through and I keep going and I'm reading later on. It's like, she's having an epic blab. No, Sam. <laughs> because they're worried I won't remember. But one of the things I said about Bitcoin is I was like, oh, it's 66,000. I said, we could even, it, we could see it at its all time high by the weekend, even by the end of the day, right? Like the end of a day, you could like in the next 24 hours, you could see it hit the all time high. And then when I figured out that one stupid mistake I made and I started to go through, I was like, okay, I'm going to go through it again. And I remembered, but then I, but Bitcoin was already up to 67,000 and it, I don't know, it was 66 something, right? Yeah. And, but it was at yeah. 67. And then, I, and then I said, again, I said, we could see that we could see it hit the all time high. Within yeah. We broke it on Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. When did you do yeah. your salmon yeah. thing? Uh, uh, it was on uh, late on Monday. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So that was Super. another one that I was excited about was that yeah. 2.7 was the top and then we'd have a pullback so then you can get in at the cheaper price and then we'll run for 3 trillion and oh Bitcoin is going to hit its all time high like soon like in a few yeah. minutes. Yeah. You yeah. Know? And it yeah. did and I was like woo yeah. <laughs> I mean I don't have Bitcoin right but I got Ethereum and the other sure. stuff. But sure. I'm still getting I'm so excited over Bitcoin. I mean I don't want to see it go down this is awesome this is great no news. it's what's bringing all the money to this market exactly so. <laughs> yeah and, and just watch it you'll see it yeah. going into the altcoins but then you'll see that bitcoin's not going down that much but all the altcoins are going up so the the market cap is going up bitcoin's not going up as much as it was but then you see the altcoins running because it's like literally it's like a funnel i mean that's where the money is 
going through. And some of these new people, you know, they're retirees, they are, they're used to using ETFs, they don't know anything about crypto. So, you know, they don't want to, you know, worry about seed words and whatever custody and all this, these things that we've kind of had to jump through for how many years now. So it's an easy way, it acts like something they already use inside their brokerage accounts and everything else. Um, yeah, so I mean, yeah. I kind of lost my train of thought, uh, probably because I'm so excited. <laughs> well, the money, yeah. the money <laughs> coming in, they don't know what's going in. on. They're, and, you know, used to And so maybe they hear, you know, because now on Bloomberg or CNBC, you know, they're talking about Ethereum. So then they're like, hey, what's this Ethereum, Ethereum thing? Or, hey, uh, wow, they're talking about Solana. You know, I, I just got some Bitcoin ETFs. Okay, well, they're talking about Solana. What's Solana? So that's kind of cool, right? Kind of neat. Yeah. 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 And of course, the first thing they think about is like, how can I make a lot of money from this market. And and then they the next thing they think about is, oh, the trains left the station for Bitcoin, maybe even for Ethereum. Oh, let's see what's next, right? And they'll <laughs> go down the list and that's why you'll find it just is gonna disperse. And there's so many wonderful projects out there. Um, you know, the, one of the advantages of having a technologist like yourself who specializes in blockchain is that you know all the news. Like, you know that guy, what, did you say is Andre? Yep. Yeah, went back to uh, Phantom. And, mm -hmm. you know, you were probably aware of all the drama that went on earlier and he left. Yep. And then, yep. you know, now he's back. I don't know any of that stuff, right? Sure. Like, I just sure. lab and then find out after the word, afterwards why, you know, I was so excited about something sure. or, you know, like with um, Solana, for example. But a lot of people, they always want to know what the next big up and coming is. So, again, near and Phantom were my faves. Um, I'm, I still like Reef and XYO. XYO is really been um you know moving up quite a bit and i didn't expect it to move until maybe we were cl closer to the three trillion but i guess it's just going to take everybody up with it well that's good i mean if people are in something like those uh i don't pay attention to those at all but i mean if you know i hope people are getting some appreciation you know i, I probably hold a bunch of stuff that you know people have never heard of uh, as well you know um and that's you know it's fine um yeah, because you know, you know yeah. it. You did the research on it. I mean, they yeah. haven't heard about it, but you know about it. And that's part of what you guys discuss over on Psychic Nerds. And that's mm -hmm. what attracted a lot of people who originally joined my channel. You know, I can't do the trading because I'm not allowed. It's too much of a, you know, I just, I can't do it. It's too confusing. I see too many things going around. Um, but, you know, there are, is a lot of money to be made if you're doing the right thing. If you find projects early on, and this is, a, this is really a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah. You know, this is not going to sure. be here like 10 years from now. So, no. you know, congratulations on um, doing such a great job with, uh, you know, leading the crew, doing doing something I can't really do because I just don't have the, uh, I don't have the psychological ability to um, do the trading and I don't have the base knowledge. Um, whereas like the overall picture, like the story of crypto, oh, I'm awesome at that. You should see the video we're putting together for the story of crypto from the beginning. I mean, you'll you'll see that I knew the story of crypto from the start, but the little small things, the nuances, that's why I think it's important to be part of the group because I mean, I could never have caught up with everything that's going on right now. I, I read the Discord every day. I mean, there's some people they, they post every single day. Thank you, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um uh, you know, I hope people are staying grounded during this time. Uh, I, I don't think people need to do much. Um, so, you know, accept, you know, hopefully refine their goals, uh, maybe work on some of their security protocol, um, maybe see if they can recover some of those wallets, um, you know, keeping things off exchanges, but understand, you know, the different ways they can come in or come out. I think that's really important. So, you know, there's not a whole lot to do here, except just to hold on. And, you know, Sam, You'll probably have new people join this week uh, over at the nerds. We'll probably have new people join this week and that's wonderful too. So, you know, maybe they're just starting their journey. So, um, you know, maybe a lot of our friends up on those discords can, uh, you know, help out the new people, uh, get them up to speed and, you know, tell them not to fall for the scammy stuff, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> oh yeah. Anyone yeah. brand new, I tell them yeah. if you have a budget that you're trying to adhere to, I definitely recommend psychic nerds over what I'm doing with, uh, the group because you know I'm I'm a I'm a medium and we're we're working on the grand experiment and I'm just basically going back and searching and we're finding these blabs because people are sure. telling me stuff they're like oh you said a while back that it would be 2.7 so you know we looked it up right and I did so we just go back so now we're able to predict the future with searchy we just go back to my blabs we're loading all my videos in from like the last five years and it's about anything 
about what's going on in the US, what's going on in China. Like you just load it and you know me, right? You, I was like a kite you were trying to manage sometimes, you know, <laughs> reeling me in. Keep it, what do you mean top, sometimes? Yeah. <laughs> you Probably mean all the time? You. <laughs> yeah. That's why like half of the video clips we get are, are, are you kind of talking me through it, right? So, yeah. yeah. And I'm just playing. I, I'm just excited. I and I know you I are know. too. And I, I think a lot of our friends are as well. So, you know, yeah. that's, that's wonderful. Uh, this is from Jazz Dude. Uh, like your name, Jazz Dude. Um, hi, Sam. Where do you see XDC going to this bull run? Oh, XDC. I think I know that. Is that like Nervous Network? XDC. Um, no, it's XDC Network. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking for some reason it was Nervous Network. It's all time um, high was um, 19 cents, I believe. Something like that. Mm -hmm. This is not one I follow or pay attention to. Right. It's yeah. Me, ne me neither. But this one, yeah, this will see it's all time. I think they just want to know, you know, that maybe mm -hmm. they FOMO'd in on it early. I don't know. Or if it's a big runner for them. But um, yeah, this will see it's all time high again. And then you can take your profits for it. Hi, Sam and Moo. Do you think Tezos will reach 10 to $15 this run? <clears throat> Tezos will reach 10 to $15 this month for March. This run. This oh, run. This ru oh, this and run. I don't yeah. Know yeah, so I don't this know. Run, this run is to June, but I think we're going to actually see, you know what? I think the three, three trillions in play for April. Okay. Um, yeah. And Tezos is not one that I, I, I haven't really paid attention to in years, so I'm not sure, Petra. Um, do you get any idea about price or excitement around Tezos um, in, uh, you know, April, May, June? Um, I, that'll go back to its all-time high again. I think it was like, what, $10? before or something like that. I don't know. So you have an opportunity, especially if you got it at 60 cents or a dollar. You know, a lot of stuff is going up. But there's some other stuff that um, has some good multiples in it. So I'd probably, you know, sell that and take some profits if you've held it for five years. And, uh, you know, any anything that's a survivor, they're all going up. It's just a matter of, you know, they'll go three times, they'll go 10 times, but you're going to get other stuff that is going to go 20, 30, 50 times. Like, for example, I think Doge still has another run in it, but I'm sure we'll get a question about those shortly. <laughs> uh, Coins Luck has one here. Hey, Sam and Moo, uh, how high do you think ADA will be this bull run? Uh, we'll go back to its all time high. It'll, it'll hit, what was it? It was just under $3 last time because that was one of the blabs is you'll have another chance again. Those of you who had, because a lot of people have Cardano and they didn't take any profits at all. And I'm like, what? You better take yeah. profits this time when it goes back to its all-time high. No crying and complaining. Because, again, you don't know, right, that there might be other runners come in. I mean, a lot of people, we didn't know about Solana, like, back in 2019 when we all started doing it. Like, a lot of us started doing this together, right? A lot of the new stuff that's out now, it didn't, it wasn't known about back then. So you have to be able to, you know, take your profits, get out, and get something else that, you know, is uh, more active that the developers are working on. Yeah, I think several of us over at Psychic Nerd sold out of ADA at three bucks or around there uh, during that conference when it when it hit three bucks. Um, okay, Rudy Largo, my favorite Rudy Largo has got one here. Hold on. Can you talk about the eight coins featured on your YouTube intro? E EOS, Sia Coin, Digibyte, Cardano, Electronium, Doge, and two others I can't recognize. Do you still see these as survivors? And more specifically, will see a coin ever see $1? Um, I don't know if see a coin will see a dollar. I think it'll see 10 cents, you know, me and my zeros, right? Uh, see a coin is really great for storage. And that's like a really old one from like a long time ago. And many of us took our profits on that because pretty much a lot of the stuff that we bought like way back, I mean, it went up a lot. Like it went up like a lot, a lot, like, you know, 10 yeah. times, 15 times, right? Um, you know, but a lot of people, like I said, they didn't take any profits in Cardano. So I'm like, you know, take your profits in Cardano this time, because, you know, again, if you're DCA on, it's like seven and 10 cents and it's already 30 times, you know, a lot of people are like, well, no, I want to play the long game. You know, I want to wait until it's like $300 and it's like, yeah, but that's an awfully big return. Why don't you just sell half of it and then put it into something else, right? Like I get it. You don't want to leave the market. I just think that a lot of people, you know, have a lot of really big bags full of certain cryptos and they've never added on sold off or expanded you know their bags now the electronium i held on to that that was, it was really weird I, I remember i said to my husband when i bought it in the ico i was like you know 
I said, it might be a while, but I see this as one of the ICOs that is going to make it and do really well. Because I bought, out of all the cryptos I bought, I did set aside about $10,000 or something like that to buy into ICOs. And I explained to my husband, I said, now, I said, we're probably going to lose about 70% of this money easily, right? If not all of it, of this portion, right? Because sure. these are ICOs, they're really high risk. And I remember talking about that with Electronium. And I mean, and it's not like, you know, I bet the farm on it, but it was one of the ones that I bought and I still, I held every single one. I even let someone uh, pay for a consult with Electronium. They were like, can I send you some Electronium? This is way back. It was like nothing. I was like, mm -hmm. sure. Right. And they sent me like 50,000 Electronium. I was like, what? <laughs> right. For 50,000. That was, I was like, so I put it all in that wallet. I've always updated my wallets. I did my KYC and everything. And there it is. And you know what? It is. It's got something special going on. It's gone to a special mainlet or setup now that it will give you the commit within the shortest period of time when you're developing. So it's really great for developers. And then you've got VeChain, which again is a really old one from way back in the day. And again, I always felt that would be a hundred times one for me. And um, it probably will be, especially now that you can program uh, VeChain. You don't have to know code to write a smart contract with VeChain. So there's a few things going on there. But yeah, I'll have to go through that list, um, Rudy, because I know what you're talking about is the original artwork that we did. And I mean, I don't like to change anything be just because, you know, I like there to be sort of a historical record of, you know, what we talked about in the grand experiment, the cryptos that we chose, which ones actually ended up being survivors, how exact I was, you know, we're like, we're going to go back and check those numbers, because this is important too. But the most important thing is the story of cryptos and 3 trillion is we're hitting it again, baby. <laughs> all right let's take a look this is uh scott with one t so just give me one sec here sam what will occur first eth to 12k or btc to 100k or doge to a dollar oh oh i think that uh, doge to a dollar will happen first yes. okay and vic's got one here uh hey sam and move what are your thoughts of holding a me music node so I haven't heard of the me music nodes. I heard of those other music nodes that a lot of people were buying when we got our gala nodes. Yeah, the you know yeah, the they, gala, the gala yeah. music nodes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so me music, I'm assuming, is somebody just trying to sort of rip off the idea because they probably made a ton of money sell, selling music nodes over on gala. Yeah, I think I'd have to think about it because I'm not super familiar with this one, Vic. But it isn't me music doesn't it run on. Uh, BRC twenties in um, Solana. Um, I'd have to go take a look. I don't really remember. Um, so, Vic, I wish I knew more about this one. Um, it, you know it's what? New. Oh, yeah, that's why you don't know. I'm just looking at it because it's down sixteen point eight percent, and I was like, oh well, what's going on? I mean, this is a market that nothing should be down, but it's brand new. That's why um, it's at two cents. And it's uh, the 24 hour trading volume is 218,000. So it is very, very new. That's why, you know, that, and you know, and the chance of failure is extremely high um, with these sorts of things. It's down 42% since it's all time high. So again, you know, that's why we say don't FOMO in because basically if someone threw uh, five grand at that earlier, they're down to like $3,000. Yeah. So, you know, and I just think there's so many good ones out there and I don't see, a future for me music, a long-term future. Now, the thing about a lot of these new things is that if you get involved in them, you have to have your you have to have your finger on the button, on the ready button, because it might go straight up. I would say sell half of it, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, yeah. This this is kind of interesting. The reason I find it interesting is I think maybe a portion of this also runs on Arbitrum. So this seems to be spanning multiple things. Um, yeah. So. You know, just out of my technical curiosity, Vic, and I know you're a, you're kind of an, a nerd too. <laughs> um, I'll probably join this Discord, Discord and, and go up and uh, kind of take a look. Um, you know, I, I probably won't buy anything or, or interact with this, but I, I am curious about what they're doing over there. Um, yeah. Sounds kind of cool. Because yeah. yeah. we'll get more questions about it for yeah. sure. But again, you know, this market, all the established stuff is going to run. It's going to run really hard. Uh, the newer stuff, and we we see this all the time, and that's, you know, if you want to take a moment later on once we get a, through a few more questions to talk about, like, some of the pitfalls again, because, again, we got we have a couple of new people that we didn't have the other week, and they may be new to crypto. We got a few few people 
circling back, I saw some old names on the old Patreon that I check in on and sort of direct them over here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we can definitely do that. Um, okay. Uh, this one is, uh, Michael's got one here. If this run is over by June, when will the next one start? Oh, shortly thereafter. Like there's, there, I was just picking the different, you know, levels that we would hit 3 trillion. And if we hit three by uh, June, then the eight could be in play for the end of the year. Now I do, I do see some rocking and rolling in the fall. So we might, we might go sideways for a bit. Right. So that's the problem with the summertime is it's going to be absolutely cuckoo bananas in the United States. Right. And that tends to lead a lot in society. So I'm just worried about um, there being some market upsets that pull that wrongly pull down the crypto market. And just so you know, Sam, you did just cut out for me. So if Spencer wants to take a look or maybe needs to do something at about 29 minutes in or 30 minutes in. Um, but uh, but I, I, I do see your face now and I can hear okay. you now. So uh, I don't know where it was. Hopefully it's still recording. Yeah, it looks like we're still recording. Tw yeah. About 27 minutes in to the recording. Okay. Okay, um, Barton's got one here. Muant, if my Exodus wallet for Polkadot and Tezos is frozen and I have the latest version of Exodus on my laptop computer, Exodus told me they cannot help me. I need to refresh my wallet. Will depositing Polkadot and Tezos on the wallet refresh them? Uh, no, not necessarily, but I don't know what you mean by frozen. So you should have your seed words. Um, you should have your seed words uh, if you're using Exodus or maybe you're using a hardware device, right? Hopefully you're using a hardware device whenever you mess with uh, software wallets. And then the, you know, your private key would just be right on that hardware wallet. So you could just simply, um, you know, uh, go to another computer, you know, uh, re-download um, something like Exodus and then be able to, you know, kind of, you know, start all over. Uh, and I don't mean start all over from zero. I mean, you know, kind of have access to your stuff. A, a, um, a hardware wallet, do I have one laying around here? Hardware wallet is not really a wallet. It's it's more like a key ring. It just holds keys. That's all it does. So there's no coins on it. You know, there's no, it's not like a physical wallet or something. So it's just, it just holds keys, which allows you to, uh, you know, have access to things on a blockchain. That's all, that's all it really does. So I'd have to know more about this Barton, but uh, that's what I would do. Hopefully you have your seed words or, or you've secured this stuff with a hardware wallet. And then you can just, you can just, I would, I, I would do it on a different computer um, maybe um, or um, yeah, there's many different ways to do this, but um, I would do that. And then, you know, just plug in your words or use a, use a hardware wallet and just see what, you know, see if it's a different response. Maybe there's something weird with that computer that you're on or some kind of conflict. I don't know if you have other wallets on that uh, inside of Exodus uh, because, you know, is it only the Polkadot and the, and the Tezos one uh, that are frozen? So anyway, I'd have to ask you a lot of questions and kind of, you know, poke around, but uh, you know where to yeah. find me, man. So I do find there's a lot of good videos on, I, like, I try not to bother you, Moo. You yeah, know, yeah. you can test really that busy. five years, very seldom have I ever hit you up with a question or a problem. And it's because I just go on, YouTube, mm -hmm. Crypto Dad is great. It's you great. know, if I get something really super complicated that I can't figure out on my own, then you know, then I'll bother you. But you know, most of this stuff is pretty simple to mm -hmm. figure out just by, you know, in the old days, um, us non-technical people, we used to just restart our computer, and that's kind of the same idea when you're rebuilding with your private keys. It's just like you're rebooting your computer. So yeah. you wipe that wallet out. Just get out your. I mean, my. Um, I had to, what was it, my my um, Theta. Yeah, my Theta wallet, because I was getting already. I was like, oh, sure. it looks like Theta's going to run first again, just like it's same as last time, right? We're getting a repeat, which is really weird, because, you know, for Theta to be the one running first, it's like it was like three bucks already. I was like, oh, better get off my bottom now that it's not locked up. I'll be a, you know, first time shame, shame on that ER, that wallet. <laughs> Second yeah. time shame on me if I'm not ready, but I had to use my key, I had to use my seed words to rebuild it, and now it's working fine, and um, that's a great idea, Moo, about telling them to go on to another computer. I have a bunch of private keys for wallets that I can't find, get into, can't get, you know, so I have the private keys. But I'm not going to use it on this computer that I'm on the internet. I'm going to go upstairs and yeah. on one of my other more recent rebuilt ones, and I'll 
I'll mess with it there. And again, also, I also make sure that I am on my home locked internet. I'm not out at a hotel yeah. using their public stuff. Don't do that. And he's chiming in again here. Uh, Barton, uh, he says, uh, many wallets on Exodus all work. Only two wallets do not work. I was told to refresh my wallet. Yeah, that's basically what we're talking about is just rebuilding and refreshing your wallet. What you can also do in Exodus is really cool is when you go into one of these things, like you go into Polkadot, for example, you can actually, after you're, you're inside of it, that part of it where it's just polka dot where you see a balance or something like this, you can actually click the um, the icon and it'll actually go out to the blockchain and, and retrieve information. So if you haven't done that, um, it's that's, it, you know, what's it called? Let me just do it. Yeah, it's called refreshing blockchain when you click on the icon. So after you're in one of these, just, you know, click the little uh, the icon uh, or the symbol for the token or coin. And uh, it should go out to the, it'll like, it'll go out and it'll look at the blockchain and then refresh. So maybe it's something as simple as that um, too. So hope you know what I mean, but uh, good luck there.